Hello. In this video, we'll look at how to use a combination of the PM dump and strings programs to dump passwords from memory to files. So basically, there are a lot of applications such as web browsers, VPN clients, etc., which take password inputs from the user and store them temporarily in the RAM and go ahead, authenticate and do many of these activities. The problem really is that the password when it is in the RAM is unencrypted and is vulnerable to being discovered by malicious programs who can look into the memory, scan for strings and then go ahead and save those and probably send them back to the malware author. So in this very simple video, what we'll do is we use a program called mempass, the code for which has been given on the same page. And we'll see how using the combination of PM dump and strings, we are able to dump the password in memory. So let's run mempass first. It asks for a password. Let's say I give a password. This is a secret. Once I enter the password, mempass clears the screen and just pauses there as you can clearly see from the code. But now let's look at how we can retrieve the string. This is a secret from memory using a combination of PM dump and strings. Let's go to another terminal and go ahead and run the PM dump program. PM dump is nothing but program memory dumping. So what PM dump allows you to do is first list all the programs which are running currently. So as we can see, the mempass program actually has a PID of 3740. So now let's go ahead, run the PM dump command once again and go ahead and give it the PID for mempass, which is 3740 as input. And let's give it a file name, let's say memdump.txt, into which it can go ahead and dump the entire memory of the mempass program. So the interesting thing to note is that PM dump does not tamper with the mempass program, which is running currently. It just takes a snapshot of the entire memory uh, part of the RAM where mempass is currently loaded and getting executed and dumps it into memdump.txt. Let's use the edit program to go ahead and look at memdump.txt. So as we notice, uh, you know, we have a lot of garbled characters simply because it is a direct dump of the memory. So this is not of much use. So let's go ahead and exit this view. So what we need to do is, let's say, assuming that most, uh, you know, password would be ASCII, uh, let's go ahead and use the strings program to dump all the strings in the memdump.txt file. So let's run the strings program. So the first thing we notice is that we need to give the minus A option for ASCII only. And then it also asks for the minimum string length. So let's go ahead and say strings minus A for ASCII only and then minus N and let's say let's give it five. So all five letter strings will actually be discovered. Let's say minus Q for quiet and now let's give it the input file which is memdump.txt and let's go ahead and run this. So what we notice is by default strings actually goes ahead and prints all the strings onto std out. Now this isn't very helpful. So let's go ahead, abort the program and instead redirect all the output into another dumb file, which is pass.txt. Okay, so strings has dumped all the five character strings which has discovered. Let's now use the edit program to look at pass.txt. So we have all these strings getting printed. And if you notice, this is a secret, which was the input we had entered 
is clearly available to us right now in plain text and has been discovered by the strings program. So well that's all in this video. Basically the point I wanted to prove is that any program which takes sensitive user input such as passwords and other credentials and stores them in the RAM indefinitely for its entire lifetime is vulnerable to such memory dumping attacks. So it is possible that a Trojan actually goes ahead, monitors the memory, monitors various programs and then goes ahead and steals all of these credentials. So as developers, it is very important for us to make sure that any user credential is well protected even if it is in the program memory region. Well, that's all for this video. Thank you.